Hey y'all, it's Joseph Flipper, and there are a few things that you need to know to make your rings flip over onto the mobile goal just like that. It seems really hard and it's really finicky at first, but there are just a few things you need to know that will make it super easy. Let me show you. Now, there are three main things you can change about flipping the ring over the top onto the goal. The first thing you can change is to change the position of the goal in relation to the top of the roller. The second thing you can change is you can change the top of the roller in relation to the goal. This is often easier because changing the position of the roller is a lot easier because there's a lot of holes here versus changing the mobile goal clamp can often be quite a challenge. The third thing you can change is the geometry of this top roller here. You can change how far apart the flex wheels are from the sprocket. You can change how big the sprocket is and also how big the flex wheels are. And you can also change how big your pickups are and how long these standoffs are and the shape of this hook flap right here. The best way to know what the problem is with flipping the rings onto the stake is to take a slow motion video and see what's happening. If you're looking at this and you're thinking, hey, this is something that I might wanna build, go ahead and click that link in the description below and I will send you an email with all the pictures and videos that you need to know to get this working on your robot. If your ring is doing this, it probably means your goal is too far away from your top roller. You can fix this either by moving your top roller closer to the goal or the goal closer to the top roller. If you're seeing something that looks kind of like this, then it means that your goal is probably too close and you should move it further away from your roller or your roller further away from the goal. Now you might be wondering, why does having flex wheels here make the ring flip over onto the goal better? Let me show you. When the ring gets to the top, it normally would just want to fall off the end, but the, what the flex wheels do is they actually lift up the ring like that, and if it's spinning with some inertia, it'll actually flip it over like this. The flex wheels are giving the ring a little bit of a boost to get over and flip over really fast onto the goal. Now, if you don't have flex wheels, it might look something like this when you try and score the ring. This is because the flex wheels aren't there to give it a little extra boost to get onto the goal better. Now, if your flex wheels are too close together, you might see something like this, where they aren't actually doing much to contact the ring and they aren't really doing much at all to help us score on the peg better. Something else to keep in mind is how tight your chain is. If your chain is too tight, it'll cause a lot of friction. If your chain is too loose, the flaps will move all over the place and won't grab onto the ring very well and you won't get a very consistent flipping over the top onto the goal. It can take a little bit of tuning, but once you get the distance between the top roller and the stake and the sprocket and the flex wheels just right, then your rings will go on just like that every time, even if you're driving, turning, even if the goal is not quite in the right position, it'll go on just like that and you'll never miss another ring. So if you want the details on how this works, make sure you click that link in the description and I'll send you all the details on that. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next video.